My name is Andrea Jones. You are watching Texas Children's Hospital Criminals, the Andrea Jones Pregnancy Series, Episode 2, Crips Waiting Room. I need you to go back and watch Episode 1, Crips Gang Triage, if you have not already watched Episode 1. I also need you all to watch Dilate Me and Get the Baby Out. I saw the tiny baby. I have been informed by three informants that there were Crips gang operations going on with my hospital visit yesterday at Texas Children's Hospital Women's Pavilion here in Houston, Texas, where I did not receive the proper medical care. This is me filming myself on the 11th floor where I was waiting for a bed, showing my body. So this is the size of my back inside of the facility. And the Ku Klux Klan is gonna try to get them to lie about it. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I knew that the hospital was going to do operations about my medical records. I have a multi-million dollar lawsuit about my pregnancy, which right now it is totaling $180 million. What I did not know was that the Crips gang was going to be affiliated with the hospital staff. I have gathered some videos from YouTube where you all can go and watch some of these videos to become more educated about how vast the Crips gang is. I have been being followed by several vehicles from California. Please visually examine my body. So what the KKK has been doing is having them bringing me into hospital rooms and then trying to have, well, having the doctors say that I am not pregnant and they have been starving me and abusing me. But God, the Holy Spirit told me this morning that regardless, he showed me the baby, the baby was talking and he said, I'm going to a hospital today to talk to them about getting it out. So that's why I'm here. And so I'm very small, but I'm wobbling around. Please excuse my appearance. I am being starved pregnant in Houston, Texas. I included a screenshot of myself. And I am visibly pregnant. So I started running sirens. Uh, around the triage area, when I saw, when I said that I told Ivana, the woman who checked me in triage, that the baby is head down. It's, the head is right here. I can feel it moving and the feet are kicking. So they've been having them, well, this was in the last hospitals that I went to. They had them bring me in a room, like they said they're going to bring me in a room and then they had them say I was not pregnant and make up lies. But it got my camera cut off on me inside of the restroom. I was explaining that if God wanted me to come to the hospital, I was going to go to the hospital regardless of whether or not I received the proper medical care. I was informed by two anonymous informants and a credible informant that the Crips gang is the reason why I did not receive the proper medical care at the Texas Children's Women's Pavilion. 
And um, when she said, do you want to consent to the baby getting the Medicaid? I said, yes, our signs. They started running sirens. So, is something going on with them not wanting the baby to have Medicaid? So, she came back in here and brought me this sheet. And it says, Texas Children's Hospital Financial Assistance Process. Now, um, this is for Medicaid. And she said, well... You don't have to do this right now. She said, um, the social worker can help you do this. Like when you discharging, they can help you. Or uh, she said, it don't have to be finished till like 60 days or something after you discharge or whatever or something. Like she was like, you don't have to do it right away. She was like, um, but this is for you and the baby to make sure y'all got Medicaid. So I was sitting right here and I was like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and fill it out. You know, I'm not doing anything. And all of a sudden, they start running sirens down there again. So, okay, what y'all applying on? Y'all want me to fill out the information? Why? What's going on? So, um, this say application health care coverage and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill it out. I wasn't going to do it until the social worker because I didn't have the address. But I'm going on ahead and fill it out. And they plotting on us. I mentioned that they were running sirens when I was filling out the Medicaid forms for the baby. I am visibly pregnant where my child is not being given medical care. I need the Medicaid to come through. And I need for my baby to receive the proper medical care. As you all can see, the Crips gang, they are of many different ethnicities. And they also are involved with people who work in high places. They are affiliated with the medical staff at the Texas Women's Pavilion for Texas Children's. So this is the area where we at. We on the 11th floor. I'm about to do the baby's, um, me and the baby's paperwork. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the medical care here. I'm not going to say that we not, but I did what God showed me to do. Y'all yeah, know the evidence to my case. And God told me to come talk to them. He said, I'm going to the hospital today to talk to them about getting it out. That's why I'm here. So we'll see. I was aware that there were gangs that were trying to harm the baby and I after the shooting when I shot the father in self-defense. What I did not know is that the Crips gang was so deeply involved. I didn't know anything about the Crips gang being involved at all. But to be that deeply involved to where they had the hospital staff try to stop me from getting the medical care. I will say that people have come from all over the United States with out-of-state license plate tags that are following me everywhere. The reason why this episode is titled Crips Gang Waiting Room is because I was informed that whatever care I was not given after I was taken from the waiting room into a room it had everything to do with Crips gang. So there were Crips gang members that were pretty much running the hospital while I was in the waiting room, meaning that Texas Children's Hospital, the Women's Pavilion, basically handed over their hospital to Crips Gang while I was inside of the facility so that Crips Gang could make the decisions about my medical care instead of a licensed doctor. 
I want to note that a woman named Griselda came to speak with me about filling out the paperwork for the Medicaid. I need to express that I told Griselda that I am homeless and that I needed to speak with a social worker to see about what type of assistance I could get from their social worker. I need to tell the viewers the reason why I am homeless is because of the gangs that have been trying to harm the baby. They also have women shelters involved with refusing us into the women shelters here in Texas so that they can try to harm the baby. I'm inside of the Judson neighborhood, uh, West Chase Library, and there is a male that is behind me that is spying as I am recording this video. Lord, I just asked that you cast down all Ku Klux Klan affiliations. And I pray against all KKK members. I pray against the black people that are involved with helping them lie about the baby. I pray against everybody in the name of Jesus. Okay, so there are celebrities. I call them so-called celebrities. I don't feel like they should be celebrated with uh, having gangs abusing a baby, but they are involved with the gang activity to try to kill the baby. There are actors who are in gangs. There are, um, I've seen politicians that are involved with the gang activities. So currently there are uh, workers where I am right now, they're allowing Ku Klux Klan members and gang members to surround me where I'm recording this audio inside of the uh, West Chase Robinson Library. I'm not he no, I'm not I'm not doing anything. He's bothering me about my case about my pregnancy. He's bothering me. He's he's whispering to this man about my child. And that doesn't have anything to do with me recording any audio. He's it's for the Ku Klux Klan. So right now they have, uh, what's your name? Derek. Derek. Okay, I'm not making any noise, and I need to record this about my child. They came in here bothering us. So he went, uh, this Asian male went and got you. He came in here too, so they doing operations. Okay, I step out. My phone is only on 3%, and they are doing operations where I came into this back room by myself and this Asian male, he came in here and he's spying. Then they got a black male. Then they got another white male in here and they're trying to abuse my baby to death in the community. And then they're trying to stop me from having anywhere to do the audio about my video. Okay. So the camera had cut off on me. I said, there were some hospitals that they had lied, bring me into the room, and they lied. They did not tell that I was pregnant. And I said, but if God told me to come here to talk to them about getting the baby out, that is why I am here. I am in a private room inside of the library here in West Chase, Houston, Texas. They are doing operations. Now, this is my body shape. I want to show you guys firsthand by leaving the audio inside of the video of some of the operations. Um, they are having males coming in and switching themselves out around me inside of the library, following me up and down the street, going everywhere with me, trying to abuse my baby. So one of the guys just said that he knows that I have been carrying the baby. And I said, I do not know you for you to be telling somebody anything about my medical records while they were trying to say that I was not pregnant inside of Texas Children's. They're having me and following and spying on me. They know that I am pregnant. I was informed yesterday 
that it was Crips gang and this morning that it was Crips gang members that are involved with the hospital staff trying to stop me from getting medical care for the baby. So this is how I am walking around the community here in West Chase in Houston, Texas. So this is how the Crips gang is trying to target me as I am walking around pregnant like this. They are having the hospital staff pretty much try to write me off to not give me the medical care. I am having informants that told me about the operation for the Cribs game to have the <clears throat> hospital staff not give me medical care for the baby. As you can see, I am visibly pregnant. The gangs are having me walking up to them and asking them for food. Then they are trying to deny me food. They are working very closely with the Houston Police Department from all over the United States, where the gangs are targeting me on foot, and they are coming around to the areas where they have me sleeping outside while I, while I am asleep. They are trying to stop me from using mirrors, where they are having people try to stop me from using public restrooms, putting up uh, out of order signs and then trying to stop me from having hair and makeup and they want me walking around with dirty clothes they're trying to starve me they're trying to give me drugs they want to try to make me smoke cigarettes then they want the hospital staff to deny me medical care to get the baby out I needed to film who was present on the 11th floor outside of the labor and delivery unit and who was in the waiting room while the Crips gang was plotting on me to try to stop me from getting the baby out. There are all sorts of people of every ethnicity that you could possibly imagine that are following me in hundreds and thousands of vehicles everywhere I go, like a colony. They all know that I am pregnant. Yeah, so um, they running this iris and stuff downstairs, and she still have not brought me to room. She still have not brought me to the room yet. God told me to come here, so do not play with me. Don't try to pull no bullshit. I can't stand every operation. There you go. The sirens that <clears throat> you can hear in the audio are the same sirens that they are running around the community doing operations with gang members where they are following me pregnant on foot with these ambulances, fire trucks, police units. They are completely taking advantage of my vulnerability as a pregnant black woman here in Houston, Texas. For these gangs to infiltrate the hospital staff, to, to be affiliated with the hospital staff, I should say, to the degree to stop me from getting a baby out, then have me staged back outside with the baby alive in me, is the reason why this video is titled, again, Crips Waiting Room, because Crips was running Texas Children's Hospital yesterday. I was in the waiting room trying to film as much fetal movement as I could. I already know that they have gang members following me. I just did not know that Crips gang was involved with what they were doing inside of the hospital room after they took me from the waiting room.
as you can see, there is fetal movement. And these gangs have been trying to abuse the baby to death for so long that I'm going to educate you all and do some history about the Crips gang. And I'm going to be putting that information in the next video. So be sure to stay tuned for the next video. As I was sitting in the waiting room, the hospital staff was doing operations with Crips gang to figure out how they could not help me to get the baby out inside of the facility. There are droves of black men that are following me around. And there are droves of people that are flooding here to Texas from California. On my channel, you will see all of these people that are famous that are being mentioned on my channel. So for me to find out that Crips Gang is involved, it makes me wonder how many of these celebrities that frequent California are trying to be involved with Crips gang, trying to stop me from having my baby. I am in Houston, Texas, but I found some information about from all over the United States, which adds up with all of the license plate, out of state license plates that I am seeing as I am being followed. I am seeing that Crips Gang has a very huge nationwide network. It may be worldwide as well. Here in Houston, Texas, it says that Crips came to Texas, that they are in the business of migrating. No, you're not frustrating me. I'm a mother, and you're challenging me to tell me that you're not going to give my child medical care. When she told me that she could not see the baby moving, she saw it. She said she could see the movement, but she tried to tell me it was something else. I knew something was wrong. I explained to her that I knew that she was doing it for gangs I just didn't know which one I said yeah I shot Austin Meador, Austin Medor in the leg in self defense and my baby daddy Austin Medor is white the gangs worship Caucasians they worship the devil and they hurt their own people <laughs> if that's what witches and racist people want them to do. I told her, I said, I did. I shot Austin Medor in the leg in self-defense. And I am pregnant. And I know that Cynthia Overa and Austin Medor are having you refuse to help the baby. What I didn't notice was the tattoo on her arm. I don't think I was paying a lot of attention to the tattoos. So when I found out that she was doing that for Crips Gang, refusing to get the baby out for Crips Gang, she was horrified that I found out that she was denying my baby medical care for Crips Gang. Y'all stay tuned for the next episode. Before I end this video, I just want to show y'all why this video again is called Texas Children's Hospital Criminals. The Andrea Jones Pregnancy Series, Episode 2, Crips Waiting Room. I showed her the video of the fetal movement, and she saw the fetal movement. She tried to tell me for Crips Gang 
That's your own heartbeat. It is fetal movement. I am pregnant. And she's lying for Crips gang. For this so-called midwife to do gang shit. Crips gang shit. To a little tiny baby. I'm going to have to get real educated about the history of Crips gang for the next episode. Y'all make sure that y'all watch.